My name is Eva Naidenova. I am the resident relationship expert. I teach social psychology and I focus um, on romantic relationships in particular. So the first kind of tip for a successful first date is be on time. It can be really awkward to kind of sit around and wait for your date. wear red. There's a lot of research studies that suggest that both men and women look better when they wear red. Very intentional when you kind of pick a place or what to do for your date. You want to do something thrilling. You can go on an exciting hike, a walk. There are two purposes to this. First of all, you want to like take the pressure off. Um, a lot of times being in a restaurant, Eating for a first date is a lot of pressure on some people. You have to maintain eye contact. But when you, when you go for a walk, you can just go by side by side and just kind of little uh, by little get to know the other person. And the second reason is physiological, actually. Um, you want to do something that gets your heart rate up because a lot of times people misattribute their elevated heart rate and they think it's actually attraction for their partner when it's the, actually the activity that you are doing. I ask my students what will be the, the best first day that they can ever imagine and the majority of them said an escape room or mini golf. But instead of trying to be interesting, actually try to be interested in your partner. So ask open-ended questions, for example, if you know they love soccer, ask them about their favorite team. Uh, basically, you want to get them talking, you want to make it comfortable, and you want to look for similarity, uh, because any kind of common ground increases attraction. Stay off your phone. A lot of times, again, when we're nervous, we tend to reach for a phone. Try not to research your date beforehand on social media. It actually creates an expectation uh, because everybody puts their best foot forward on social media and um, obviously most times people will not be able to live up to that expectation that we have in their, our mind. One of the best predictors of attraction is just having a warm personality. And the best way to be warm and engaging is by being yourself. 